You are listening to Fresh Air Community Radio, KFAI, 90.3 FM Minneapolis and 106.7 FM St. Paul, Radio Without Boundaries. Welcome to KFAI. You are entering a space that KFAI has occupied since 1991. It's been our long-term home and hope that you will consider joining us as a member of our volunteer family or our listener member family. Come on in. Where is KFAI for people who don't know Minneapolis? KFAI is on 1808 Riverside Avenue, right on the corner of Cedar and Riverside. We are in the heart of the West Bank at the University of Minnesota. So we're accessible by light rail, by public transportation, bus, and we also have parking facilities in the area. We're entering our administrative area where our front desk manager is a volunteer. John is with us every Monday morning and has been here for at least eight years, maybe even longer. Yeah, that's what I thought. We make sure that all of our visitors are received here and John is also managing our phones, incoming and incoming guests and phone calls as well as managing the mail. We're going to walk back into the green room where we welcome the many community members who come to KFEI to participate in our on-air news, public information, entertainment, music, live forums, etc. They hang out here and then our program hosts who are also volunteers, all volunteers, will take them into the studio and get them settled and begin the discussion or the uh, performance of music, which happens quite a bit. A very compact and economical space for our volunteers and staff who are here. We make sure that there's no barrier to having them be comfortable in terms of food, water, etc. Let's go into the administrative areas. These were originally designed as a general office space and we've done a capital campaign for the majority of the space in 2001 and then the administrative area at that point was still very rough and looked like something from the 1950s and we renovated this space in 1995 so it's actually held up very well given the amount of traffic that takes place here in our administrative areas. This, is, this is where our four full-time and one part-time staff member works five days a week, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. are our office hours. And this is where all of the work that happens to make sure that we're maintaining our FCC regulations, that we are maintaining our commitments to the community, conversing with underwriters, with vendors that do trade agreements with us, meaning that they exchange their services for on-air announcements, as well as all of the things that go into programming the station and then the financial responsibilities of paying bills and securing the $1,200,000 budget that KFAI is maintaining in this fiscal Let's year. Say that again, that number again. Our budget for this year is $1,200,000. Wow. And that requires the dedication of staff and the assistance of volunteers to be sure that we can meet our expenses as well as provide for the infrastructure that maintains the station. How many different radio shows do we put out here locally? There are 86 programs during the course of a week. We have a little over 200 on-air volunteer program hosts. We have another 150 administrative volunteers and 90 three percent of our programming every week is locally produced. So we'll just take a walk down here. Uh, each of us works in one of these spaces and it leads us back through the newsroom where we accommodate a host of news volunteers 
and students, you'll see a training that's taking place now. So I'll lower my voice. I would give you a sense of what it requires to do our news updates at the top of each hour, as well as the work that's done in here to produce our weekly news program. This is Dale Connolly, on the radar news director, and we have um, interns here now. Actually, we have our AmeriCorps Community Technology Employment Project member, Emily Krumberger, and then we also have Sarah, who is one of our Crystal Ray High School students. She is starting a, a nine-month internship where she's learning the aspects of editing for news, hourly news updates, and will also work towards learning how to uh, produce and edit copy for work that we do with the news department. Teaching is nothing like doing it. No, it's quite intensive, and the and the opportunities for KFAI to grow in the teaching element continues to be immense, and so we have a commitment to maintaining that relationship. The number of people we've put on the air is really almost countless, isn't it? Well, the number of people that we've trained and who have gone on to secure careers as professional journalists or in careers of communication is vast. Yes. Okay. We're uh, situated in a circle, and so we are just going through our fabulous storage <laughs> space and moving. Using every inch of this place. We use every inch. Moving into our studio space, one of our on air this is a nice studio one. spaces. We just did Truth to Tell in there, and there's Andy Driscoll um, of the big studio where you could have maybe a half dozen guests or more. That's right, and Lenny Chisholm, who's also a volunteer with KFAI, prepping for a WAVE project, our open access form that he's doing this Sunday, September 18th, and we'll be including a number of members of our community in that process and looking forward to that program. I'll be there. Okay. We're continuing to the on-air studio, which we'll actually view through sure. the smaller studio. The setup of the station was designed by our chief engineer, Mr. Dan Zimmerman, and so you're looking directly into our on-air studio where Pam Hill Courier is currently on the air producing Pam Without Boundaries. You'll note that there are selection of uh, recordings there in cases that try to keep up with the new releases that have come out in all the genres that KFAI programs during the course of the week. And it allows a programmer to uh, just at the spur of the moment decide that they want to include something that's brand new. They can go right to the shelves and share it with our listeners. The space that we're in now, Studio 3, is often an overflow studio for programmers who have a number of live guests that are on the air that will not fully accommodate the space in Studio 4. And again, the design element allows any of our on-air programmers or guests to see right through to our other studio, Studio one, which is a replica of our RNA studio. It's where training takes place. It's also an opportunity for programmers to do editing of their uh, existing programs that allows them to test out things that they want to put on the air. And we're really fortunate to be able to have the replication of an on-air studio if an emergency takes place and we're off the air in Studio 4. We don't lose any time. We can immediately go to Studio 1. It's also a very fortunate opportunity for KFEI because it means that we have a space to train members of the community how to consider careers in broadcast journalism, how to think about public affairs or music programming in a place that gives them an actual space to work in, to learn, to train, and to build skills. So any of the volunteers who've been here as long as 33 years or three months have access to this facility and it's free of charge if they are active volunteers. 
So we thank our community for continuing to support us, to provide us with the finances, to make sure that this continues and that we continue to support our mission-driven You are listening to Fresh Air programming. Community Radio, KFAI, 90.3 FM Minneapolis and 106.7 FM St. Paul, Radio Without Boundaries.